we're going to do today is we're going to run through your GPS and your fish finder and show you how to use them effectively and efficiently to target your fish, which means if you use these correctly, I'm sure you're going to catch a lot more fish. On, in the market today, there's, there's a couple of options. On a kayak, the guys will try and say, put a GPS fish finder combination, which means you don't have to take your GPS and your fish finder separately, but you have it all in one unit. My, from personal experiences, the downside of a combo unit is that we've got like an outboard motor or, or a power boat, we don't have a battery that is constantly recharging. So if you have a combination unit GPS fish finder and your battery goes flat, you have no coordinates, no fish finder. So keeping them separately, running a simple handheld GPS, which they're cheap, very cost effective, two pen light, rechargeable batteries, this charge batteries will last you two days. So you do have the comfort of knowing Maybe your fish finder battery might go flat, but you've definitely got GPS coordinates to get to your mark. So think about that. Maybe for you, you might find a GPS combo unit is the better option, because you're not going to be on the water for too long and you know your battery won't run flat. Sometimes I'm on the water for seven or eight hours, I want to have a peace of mind that my GPS will work all day, and my fish finder I can turn on and off to save the battery so that I'll have that for the whole day's fishing as well. So, personal experiences, make sure you get a separate fish finder from your GPS. What I'm going to do is show you how to use them. Obviously there's many different fish finders and GPS's on the market. We're just going to show you how to use the product that you've chosen a lot more effectively. In my case, I've chosen the Garmin fish finder and the Garmin handheld GPS. What I will do is launch you in a bay like Pondan. Depending on the time of the day, I've decided the, the place that I want to go and fish. That is where my GPS comes in handy. I'll turn my GPS on, so just power it up. Go onto the, uh, into the menu and pick a coordinate that I want to go to and go to. Which means my GPS will now take me right to the spot that I want to fish at. That is when my fish finder becomes effective. I'll then turn on my fish finder and look for the readings. There's no point in going to your mark and turning on your fish finder and you see there's absolutely no activity. You're not going to hang around there and fish. You're going to look for another mark on your GPS, take that mark, Paddle over to a separate spot, once again read your fish finder, look for the showings, look for the signs of a lot of fish activity or at least a lot of fish life, and then use your fish finder. So what we effectively have done here is we've used our GPS to get up to the spot, and we've used our fish finder to find the fish. So combining the two, we've become a lot more effective and hopefully we've given ourselves a much better opportunity at catching a fish.